by listening to the signs of time. A pioneer knows that sooner or later, he will need to risk his life. And Charlemagne Tiso knows no limits in his treacherous journeys. These trips start in Charlemagne's hometown, Le Locle, nestled in the Swiss Jura Mountains. The town works as a watchmaking machine, with half of the population specialized in a job related to this craft. This is where Charlemagne and his father create Tissot. They are able to offer precise watches but they see that the skills developed in Le Locle could easily be lost. So, by listening to the signs of time, Charlemagne gets politically involved and promotes the creation of watchmaking schools. Starting at a local level, his expertise is recognized by the Swiss state, and he is appointed national inspector. At the same time, thanks to Charlemagne's journeys, Tiso makes a name for itself way outside the borders of the country. And its reliable pocket watches become highly appreciated. Tiso is also among the first to create wristwatches. Even the main star at the time, Sarah Bernhardt, proudly wears a Tiso watch. So, a small family business born in the Swiss Jura Mountains receives the highest requests from the Tsar's court. However, the Russian Revolution is about to change everything. The loss of sales is sudden. But by listening to the signs of time and trusting in its own resources, the small family business turns into a powerful factory, able to produce all parts of its watches internally. By the 1920s, electricity has become part of daily life, but it magnetizes watches and affects their precision. To solve this problem, Tisa creates the world's first non-magnetic wristwatch. In parallel, as unionist strength, Tiso cooperates together with Omega, the first Swiss watchmaking association, which boosts its distribution network. In 1933, Tiso launches an outstanding communication strategy, which brings Tiso ahead of its competitors. The success brought about by its innovative products mirrors its growing popularity. Visitors come from all over the world, and the Tiso guestbook immortalizes one special signature. In the late 1960s, society changes. Young people have their own codes and culture. Tiso exceeds expectations with a wide range of colorful models. Hiding behind these playful looks are some of Tiso's finest technological breakthroughs, using new materials to offer precise mechanical watches. By that time, half of the watches sold in the world are Swiss. But this won't last. The arrival of the electronic watch is a disaster for this long-standing industry based on mechanical technology. Many Swiss watchmaking companies are forced to close their doors. The salvation of the Swiss watchmaking industry would come from Nicholas Hayek's innovative strategies. The Swatch Group was born and would become the number one manufacturer of finished watches in the world. Thanks to this new support, Tissot climbs to the top. And as the world becomes increasingly digitized, Tissot paves the way with the world's first tactile watch. A leader in precision since its origins, the brand shares the sporting spirit of the great champions and is official timekeeper of the biggest sport events. 
Tissot continues to focus on quality with innovative design based on the Swiss watchmaking tradition. Today, Tissot is the traditional Swiss watch brand that sells the most watches in the world. By listening to the signs of time, a pioneer shapes the history of fine watchmaking, remaining where it always was in a small town of the Swiss Jura Mountains. <laughs>